What is going on everybody? It is your boy Nothing But Skills and today's video is going to be talking about how to win big and what I mean by that is how to get those high kill games. When I talk about high kill games, at least 15, 16, 17 plus, you know, if you guys can drop those 20 plus kill games then you guys are YouTube worthy. A lot of times when I play anymore, I'm not really going for the wins, I'm going for those high kill game wins. So a lot of times I'm rushing and that can cause for a lot of mistakes, right? Because if you're not taking your time, if you're not using the strategy I showed you guys in my previous tips and tricks videos on how to win how to win more then you're not gonna be able to do what I'm doing here because this takes a lot more carelessness and a lot more aggressive play to break these high kill games because in reality high kill games is a lot of pushing you have to rush if you hear gunshots you have to rush we're gonna break down a gameplay of me getting those high kill games and we'll talk about some tips and tricks to try to help you guys get more kills instead of getting those five kill wins six kill wins so the first major tip you guys need to know is when you get a drop zone so you have your flight path you need to pick somewhere in the first three drop zones so we have estates there we have train station we have hydro dam but what I'm looking at is train stations kind of in the middle if the circle goes to the left then I can still move towards firing range if the circle goes to the right I can still move to hydro dam if you pick hydro dam you can kill the players there but then you have to circle all the way to the left that's why I thought train station is my go-to pick and one thing you will notice is my 18 kill game my 17 kill game my multiple 16 kill games have all came when I drop in train station I just feel that train station is a really good drop zone and if you get it near the flight path at the very beginning a lot of people tend to drop there we're gonna see in this gameplay how fast the kills came and one thing you need to pay attention to is like any game whether you're trying to win or whether you're trying to get high kill games is the first five minutes is the most intense because a lot of players don't have weapons don't have gear so if you can get a gun right off the bat you can rack up those kills really quick you're gonna see in this gameplay that I end up racking up three kills in less than a minute I pick up some weapons some players are rushing me I kill another one right here and then I keep rushing I know there's a guy up below because I saw his parachute deploy I'm looking for him and there's my third kill in less than a minute I'm already at three kills and look how many players are still left on the board so the biggest strategy for high kill games at the beginning of a map is you got to be really aggressive and you got to try to push the players before they have time to get better weapons because a lot of times they might just have a shotgun they might just have a pistol they might not have no armor maybe you picked up a trauma kit while you were killing some players and if you can push those players and it gives you a little edge right because you're on the aggressive side they might not have got a really good weapon yet they might not have armor yet so you're taking advantage that you have armor you have some decent weapons and then hopefully you can drop them before they have time to loot at this point I know there was another guy here because of my sensor dart right so I'm trying to be a little stealthy but I still want to be aggressive because you know high kill games you ha you can't be camping there's no way you can get a lot of kills by hiding in a building waiting for a player the longer you take to get kills the less players there are right for you to kill now I just spotted the guy I was looking for I hit him a couple times my sensors dart still has him I was just checking to the right make sure there was nobody there and I'm gonna be on the aggressive right I need to play aggressive if I want to get these kills. I'm going to push them. Look at my sensor dart. I just picked up another guy behind me. So we're going to finish this guy off. We're going to go look for the guy who's coming up behind me because he thinks I don't see him, but I had a sensor dart, right? So we're looking for him. We're playing a little stealthy because I don't exactly know where he's at. There we go. We see him. So we made the first move. We hit him a couple times. Oh, we're going to switch guns. And there we go. So we have five kills on the board. There's 66 players left. So we are on pace. We are on pace to drop some really good numbers as long as we stay aggressive. The moment we stop being aggressive, that player count's gonna drop, right? So the more kills we can get now, the better chance we have of getting high kill game. So besides being aggressive and besides picking a good drop location, the next thing is constantly looting. You need to loot those first aid, those med kits, because that's gonna keep you guys alive longer. I would recommend picking up as many perks as you can, constantly popping them, making sure you're constantly looting. You're gonna use a lot of bullets, right? Especially with the armor system the way it is now, you're gonna use a lot of bullets to drop players and you're gonna have to use those armor plates to constantly regen your armor. So when you kill players, make sure you check your surroundings, loot their bag. Now we're gonna see my next kill comes right now. There's a guy right in front of me. I see him, I don't think he sees me, but I'm gonna take advantage. I'm using a swordfish, I'm doing some work. I end up dropping him. So we're at six kills, 61 players left. And look what I just found in here. So these supply crates are amazing. 
A lot of times they have fully modded weapons that you can pick up. You can drop all the attachments by hitting square over the weapon. You can pick up the weapon you really want to keep. They have trauma kits in them sometimes. They have grenades. They have perks. So make sure you cycle through this if you get lucky enough on finding these. And then of course, man, fully equip the weapon that you really want to use. I didn't want the rampart. I wanted the swordfish. So I fully modded my swordfish. And then the rest of the attachments I had, I put on my secondary. Now, anytime you get a trauma kit, and you're going for these high kill games, I would recommend popping it because it's going to boost you up to 200 health. And a lot of times, that's going to be the difference if, say, two guys hit each other exactly the same, but he has 150 health. You guys both have level 2 armor. You guys get the point, right? You have that extra 50 health that will get you through that battle. At this point, we still have 6 kills, 44 people left. I heard some gunfire over here. Someone did die. And I'm trying to be a little bit stealthy so he doesn't hear me sneak up on him. I'm looking for him. I'm pretty sure he's looting. I just don't know what room he's in. So I'm just taking it easy. I finally see him. I'm going to use a concussion before I go in there, play it safe. I hit him with a concussion, so he definitely doesn't know where I'm coming from. And boom, we finish him off, right? Seven kills, 41 people left. So we're definitely on pace, and like I keep telling you guys, looting is key, and the attachments you can get from looting these other bodies is key in helping you succeed, right? Because if you can get the best attachments for all of your weapons, you can end up winning these games. Another thing with high kill games is you really don't want to stay on the edge of the circle till it's all the way closed in. You want to be closer to the middle of the circle. That way you can catch people who are coming towards the circle. You just want to play more aggressive, right? Like I would tell you if I was trying to win this game, win this game, I'm going to stay near the edge. Use this minute 13. Take my time. I'm looting this building, right? I'm, I'm still looting. I'm still looking. But my goal is to push towards the middle circle before the timer hits zero. And I'm just checking here to see if there's any other loot I can have. And there happens to be a guy sitting in this bathroom. I end up dropping him, got a headshot, and I was lucky right there because he was waiting for me. I'm sure he heard me, and he has a concussion. He has some ammo I can pick up. So I'm going to use my trauma kit right here to get me at full health and 50 health above. So I'll be at 200 health. I'm going to use my repair armor system here. We're going to repair my armor. And then my goal right now is to start pushing towards the circle. We're at 8 kills, 32 players left. So we have 33 seconds before the circle is going to close. I'm not too far from the edge of the circle, so 30 seconds isn't too bad. I can see the circle right there, right? Since I can see the circle right there, my goal right here is kind of look behind me, see if I see anybody. At this moment, I see a player, and we end up going at battle. I end up dropping him, and then my goal now is to loot him, right? I always tell you, looting is always what you're going to want to do in high kill games because you run through that ammo so quick, guys. Now that I'm in the middle of the circle, right now I'm still pushing. I'm really aggressive. I'm moving around. I'm getting kind of close now. The high kill game is a little bit harder. There's only 16 players left, but I am hugging this circle because I heard a player over here. I'm looking for him and his ATVs right there. I just don't know where he is at this moment. I finally get a visual on him and he's hiding behind this bush right in front of me. I take a couple shots. He moves so I can actually see him and we just have a little battle. Finish him off. Now we're at 10 kills, 13 players left. Now I can still break 20 kills, right? If I finish off the remaining guys, I could break 20 kills. I'm on pace on this game. I was on pace to get 17 kills before I get killed. And you'll see what I'm talking about in just a second. So for all of my high kill games, one thing I've noticed, I've always had a mid to long range weapon. So either like the swordfish, the ABR, and then I've always had like a short range weapon. So these SMGs are great for that because when you run up on a player, you can just unload so many bullets so quick. And if you can move to your left, to your right, they can miss a lot of shots while they're trying to hit you with those burst fire shots. Now, the ABR is a great gun. The Swordfish is a great gun for those medium to long range because they put so much damage out. They're really accurate and they hit really hard. So the circle is getting really, really small. And you can see I'm already in the circle. I see a supply drop right there. I'm kind of see if anybody's going there. I'm still looking behind me because, you know, you get a lot of those trailers. We find another guy right there. So that's the thing. People like to troll. Like that guy probably doesn't have a lot of kills right now, but he might have a better chance of winning because he's not playing as aggressive. If you see me, I'm throwing concussions. I'm using my SMG. So that was a really aggressive move. I had a swordfish. I could have stayed up top. I have a four time scope on it. I could have just tried to kill him from up top, but I wanted to play aggressive. I had a concussion. I have a really good SMG. So I pushed him. I used the concussions to my advantage. I hit him with the concussion and I finished him off with the SMG. So that is something that you tend to do more when you're going for these high kill games. So this is crunch time. This is the time that I say that if you're not going for those high kill games then play it safe but the point of this is to show you that I go for high kill games a lot and this is how I tend to go for it so 
I know I need to get those six kills to break my total. So before this video happened, I hadn't hit 18 kills just yet. So if I get the remaining six kills, I can break 17 kills, which is right now my highest total. But I did end up breaking that. If you guys haven't watched that video, I did get 18 kills. That was on a few games after this one. But I wanted to show you this one to show you how aggressive I'm playing when I go for those high kill games. So there's five guys left. I could still hit 18, and that's what I'm, I'm trying to do. I have 13 players left. I can hear someone sneaking up. I threw a concussion. I miss. I'm still looking for him. I don't know where he's at. And I'm playing aggressive. You see, I'm out in the open, in the circle, looking for somebody. This dude is just hanging out here. There we go. We finish him off. He takes a lot of damage. He has level 3 armor. So I'm at 14 oh kills. God. So if I get the remaining 3 kills now, I'll be at 17. Looks like another player just dropped. And look, I see this guy last second. He had the jump on me. He saw me first. He started shooting, and he kills me. He kills me with 14 kills. I could have got three more. That will put me at 17 to tie my highest kill game at the moment, right? And that's why I tell you guys, when you guys are going for these high kill games, don't get frustrated because a lot of times you're going to die. Look at this guy. He's camping the end of the circle. He's playing very safe. This is something you do if you really want to win. And me, I was running around. I was looking for players. He sees me first. He drops me. Look at how many kills he has. He had four kills. I was his fourth kill. So before that, he had three kills, and there's only three people left. So that's the difference between someone going for a win and someone going for those high kill games. He'll probably finish the game if he won with six kills. I can't upload a six kill win. And that's the difference between a content creator going for those high kill wins and then just someone just trying to get some wins. So my next goal is to hit 20 kills in a game. I hit 18 and I'm really excited about that. I was really excited when it happened. So that's going to be the next big kill video I hopefully I can upload remember it takes a lot of luck a lot of aggressive play and then hopefully players just drop where you drop because the more kills you can get off at the beginning the less kills you have to get near the end of the game when I got this 18 kill win I had to get the final six kills just to break my record and that's tough right now there is a guy out there I heard he got 30 kills on console that's tough man I, I give it to him man very very tough I think 20 kills is more realistic as more players are getting better for most players who are really good at this game. If you can drop a 20 kill game, that's pretty talented. I appreciate all the support guys. Smash the thumbs up if you found this useful. If you have any questions on any of my videos, use the comment section down below. And until the next video, if you don't see me a blackout, it's only a matter of time. Nothing but skills out.